Hey guys, welcome back to this week's Semi Live. We are coming to you from Des Moines, Iowa. We're at the Deer Classic down here. We're gonna be here Friday to Sunday, and we're looking forward to meeting people, hanging out in the booth, and uh, selling our new merch. We just dropped all of our new merch, so we actually, as you can see, are selling pull tabs. People are having fun. We're drinking beer, hanging out, but we're gonna kind of take you through the whole weekend while we're here from Friday to Sunday and uh, show you guys what we do throughout the trade show weekends. And uh, we're gonna actually be doing these for the next three weeks after this. And uh, we're gonna hit Iowa, Kansas, Ohio, and Wisconsin. So if you're in the area of any of those next three places, make sure to swing by, grab some merch, drink some beer, and hang out with us. It'll have a wine through it, something like that if you want. Hey guys, welcome back. Day two here at the Iowa Deer Classic. We are going to stop by Cage Blinds, one of our great sponsors. They have awesome blinds. We use them all year round. Really heavy duty, can support a lot of weight. Mike killed his Iowa muzzleloader buck out of his this year. So we're going to swing by, talk to Rob, and uh, let him tell you a little bit about the blinds. I'm going to introduce you to the cage blind here. The cage blind is a little different from your typical pop-up blind. Although it does pop up like a typical hub blind, there's a difference here. We add four metal spreader poles into each corner, four along the top line. That gives you your structure. And then it's all tied in with the uh, four metal pogo poles that go into the roof that are spring-loaded, and then it locks into place with a spinning, spinning locking cap up on top. It's capable of holding over 800 pounds on the roof. The material that it's made of is similar to what's used in the uh, in the boat industry for boat tarps. Um, it's a solution dyed material on the outside, so it's not going to fade, peel, or crack. It's uh, got your black interior, and then sandwiched in between those two is a waterproof membrane. Um, the cage blind is warranted for five years. You can set it up, leave it out all year long, and you're not going to have any damage. Um, the uh, the structure is very firm. Um, you can just you can do pull-ups on the roof. Like I said, it's capable of holding over 800 pounds, and it's meant to, meant to leave out all year long. Come by here at the Iowa Deer Classic. Check out the cage blinds. Love to see you here. Thanks. How are you? Good. Self. Good. Just you today? You guys got boots, don't you? Boots or boots? Oh, both. both. I know you got, got both. I, I know yeah. you got boots. <laughs> yeah, we got a boot. Starting early? No, that's for my collection. We don't talk about that. Who you guys talk behave? About? Last uh, night? No. <laughs> maybe. We closed Kinda. the bar down, we seen a gun shooting, and then like a hundred person brawl last night. It was wild. <laughs> we walked out of Beer Cat Alley and we just hear <laughs> We were like, I'm Jason Hurt, I'm the set crusher. And this is our Cobra Closet. It basically, it's a roller bag that has an insert in it that you can put together and put up and basically hang your clothes inside of it. I take this when I go elk hunting, you know, we put it in the cabin, put it up in the corner, I can hang all my clothes in it put the ozone generator here. Ozone's heavier than air, so you have to put it up the top so it'll go through and it'll kill everything and kill all the bacteria on your clothing when you're hunting. Your boots and everything can go in the bottom. If you're running it not as a closet, this stuff will fold up inside of it and the generator will go down here in the corner. And we are running it on special. The covert closet is 307 at the show this weekend. Piling up, day two. It's only 10:30, so off to a good start. Hopefully, if it's been busy so far, hopefully we can keep that up all day. It's supposed to be kind of shitty outside, so fingers crossed, action stays up. I 
I got a feeling this kid's about to clean us out. How many you got? Four? Okay, here you go. Roll them. <laughs> Big winner. Come on, look at you got a lion? <laughs> Two men again? Da na na na! Oh, more. Last one. Shit's rigged! Oh. <laughs> all right, well, yeah, nice to see you all. Winner, winner. $100. Well, now you gotta start taking it out. Now you gotta start taking it out. The most that you That hat just Now you got your hats. Oh, well, I just paid for something. <laughs> See, you should have waited. You should have That's what got you your good luck. Yeah. Iowa. Good old Iowa. <laughs> Did you know he was in there? That's I was awesome. just shed hunting. That is There's a piece so I've been wanting to go into, so I was shed hunting and scouting. Yeah. Jeez. What'd this one take? Right. Don't even know. Hold them. I, I, Hold I that. had no, Warren no. down there to look at it. He said he's like 90. Oh, yeah. One word, Iowa. <laughs> She's over it today. <laughs> Points right there? Yep. Okay, stick it. That goes in the can. You gotta roll it in. Let's see you do it. Well, <laughs> you guys have it's not yeah. that goddamn it's not that goddamn hard. You just you gotta you gotta do it perfectly, right? Oh, look at that. Now I can drink it. Oh, what if it goes in it's there? It's okay. It's not in there all the way. It's all right. Yeah. So, Bill, so Miller Lite. Goes actually, down smooth. If you look at all of their cans, they have a they have a triangle on top of their can. Yeah. It's actually for like a bottle. You ever seen a, bottle, a true bottle opener has the, well, the triangle tip? Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there is a technique to this shit. Yeah, there is. You look, you're making me look bad here. Well, I'm gonna. <laughs> All right, let's see how it goes down. Well, you had open a new beer. <laughs> open a new beer. I'll show you. Open right, a new beer. All right, all right. No, here's what I'm gonna have you do. I'm gonna have you open a new beer. I'm gonna have you drink that beer. Take a drink. Take a drink of it, and then I'll do this, and I'm gonna show you how to drink it. Actually, so I gotta take a beer or a swig. Absolutely. Yep. So you got all the, the full flow of the carbonation. Now give me your goddamn beer. Ready? Okay. And you're gonna be like, holy shit. Alright, now take a drink of it. You tell me how much smoother it is. He's not lying. He's not lying. That is weird. Cats out of the bag, bud. <laughs> Sunday morning, last day of the show here in Iowa. Mike and I are gonna run around. We're gonna actually go upstairs where they have all the sheds that people have brought in for this year and all the uh, deer mounts. So we're gonna take you guys along, go up there and look at some of the mounts. I heard there's some big ones up there and some big uh, sheds as well. So let's go upstairs and see what they got. Biggins. Biggins. got done walking through all the deer mounts and all the sheds from whenever. I mean, all the previous years, it didn't matter. The last set we're gonna go through is just the stuff from this year, so it'll be kind of interesting to see what kind of sheds people have scooped this year. Nice. 
that's why you moved to <laughs> Iowa to hunt deer. <laughs> right there. You're not gonna go to any other classic and see deer and antlers like you do here. It's just incredible to be honest. That's and I still live in Wisconsin, so <laughs> So what are we? So we got all of our patch hats are 25 bucks. All our sketch tees are 20. Hoodies are 40. That is going to be a wrap for this week's Semi Live. We are just closing the trailer. We are done here in Des Moines, Iowa for the Deer Classic. We are going to be uh, in southern Iowa the rest of the week doing some shed hunting over by uh, Brennan's properties. And then we are headed right to Overland Park in Kansas for the next show. And uh, we'll be heading there this coming Friday. So stay tuned for the next Semi Live, I believe. Uh, next week's we'll be going to one of Brennan's properties, hanging some stands and uh, getting it ready for next fall. So thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next week.